Closed captioning for great tastes is presented by Manitoba Mushroom Growers Association. Fresh, simple, good. Manitoba Liquor Mart presents Great Tastes of Manitoba. Great Tastes is brought to you by GreatTastesMB.ca. Local farms, local foods. Great Taste is sponsored by the Government of Canada and Manitoba Agriculture through the Canadian Agricultural Partnership. Welcome to Great Taste of Manitoba. My name is Des Daniels and uh, tonight, make it at home with Manitoba Mushrooms. We have Heather Divert here from Manitoba Mushrooms, Aaron Alblast, Manitoba Liquor and Lotteries. We're going to get to you in a second. But first, Heather, so I think it's very tempting sometimes Buy it in a box, buy it pre-made, but tonight is all about, you're going to show us how to make some amazing meals that you could be, you know, tempted to buy in a box, but we're going to make it all at home and it's going to be easy, right? That's right. Okay. Always. Always easy, always tasty. Um, so we're going to go, we're going to make three recipes uh, tonight. So the first one is a one pot um, beef and mushroom meal, and we're going to show people how to blend and extend uh, in that particular one. The second one is a tortellini with mushroom medley sauce. Yes. So you're going to make your own sauce, very quick, very easy, and a skillet mushroom lasagna. Okay, mm -hmm. so what are you thinking? We can always pair a wine with every dish. We're gonna do that with one of them, but we're gonna go off, off script a little bit and we're also gonna use a cider and a beer that should pair very well with the mushrooms. Okay, off you go, see you soon. Recipe number one tonight, one yes. pot beef and mushroom meal. So yes. um, first of all, you had me at one pot. This yes. is always a good way to go, <laughs> yes. never bad. That's right. And you were talking about this trend to extend, trend to blend, and yep. talk about that a little bit. Okay, so basically what it is, it's uh, you incorporate um, pulsed mushrooms or chopped mushrooms into the recipe um, in place of some of your meat. So you can, so if you, you can you extend it, right? Blend it and extend it. So we're just going to start over here with a homemade uh, mushroom seasoning mix that I've already put together in a dish. So it's about a half a teaspoon of thyme, oregano, dried garlic, okay, yeah. and dried onion. Oh, okay. okay. Dr oh, so dried. And garlic. this is okay. wonderful. There's no salt added. So again, it, it's uh, lots of flavor. Because often in, in, like if you're buying prepackaged, there is a lot of sodium in yes. there, right? So this way you get to really control that. This smells. So amazing already, by the way. Okay. Okay, so this is the make ahead. You can make this ahead, you can make it in bulk. And this goes in to the skillet, but we're gonna just talk about first about the blend and extend. So half the mushrooms get pureed in the food processor. Okay. And you can see by the look of the mushrooms, they look very similar to ground beef. Ground beef, yes. totally. Yep. So you're going to add that to the saucepan or the okay. skillet mm -hmm. uh, with ground beef. Right. And this has already been done and cooked. Mm -hmm. And another half a pound of sliced, both the white and the cremini were used in this particular recipe. Okay, that was my next question. Mm -hmm. Really matter what kind, not necessarily. No, but, and okay. then we're going to add the seasoning mix. Okay. Okay. And again, you're making it yourself. It's not coming from a box. Mm -hmm. You're controlling the ingredients that are in this recipe. And I guess that's one of the ways you can kind of cut down on time a little bit to use the uh, the garlic uh, as opposed to chopping. Yes. You know, so yeah. that's another way, yeah. right? The it's dried, like shortcuts. dried onion, yeah. dried garlic, and again, it keeps well. Right. Okay. okay. So to the skillet after you sauté, you are oh. going to add three cups of low sodium, right. again, you're controlling, yeah. um, of beef broth. Okay, perfect. Okay, so we're just gonna add that in. Okay, you wanna use a fairly large skillet right. or pot. <laughs> Okay, because Made that mistake a few times. Yeah, it's like exactly. moving it in the middle of no, not a good plan. No, no. So then what you want to do at this stage is you're going to bring up, bring this up to the boil. Okay. And at this point, once it's boiling, then you're going to add the pasta. All right. So we're going to use the ready-made noodles. These, these are kind of exciting. Uh, I think we discovered these last year. So ready-made, uh, handmade in Winkler. And they're just beautiful, like the, the texture, the consistency. They're just really quite lovely. In that lovely colander, too. Yes. Like, I'm t totally stealing that. So in this particular recipe, we have used the wide noodle. So make sure that you, you know, the wider one gives it a nice consistency mm -hmm. and it holds up really well in the recipe. So you're going to add that in, boil it for 10 minutes. And then after 10 minutes, we're going to show the reveal. Okay. Is it, can we, may we, yes. may we begin this process? Yes. Okay. 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 Oh so, my gosh. And right. you can give that a stir. Yes. And so you can see how well the noodles hold up. 
Um, and again, it's the same mixture, but the broth is, is has all been absorbed by the noodles, but it, again, it's still nice and juicy. And I kind of like like the the textures, right? You have some of the sliced mushrooms in there. Yeah. You've got the sort of the more the beef, uh, the ground beef blend as well. So it's really quite lovely, but we're adding more. We are, yeah. So we are, are not only have we added the chopped mushrooms to give you an extra serving of vegetable, but we're also adding a cup of peas. Oh yes, you're always okay. thinking about nutrition. Oh, and your color. color. On it and, and color. color. Yeah. That is so we're going to add a cup of the uh, frozen peas that we've thawed. Okay. And we're also going to add a half a cup of the old cheddar cheese. Great. Yum. And again, nice flavor. Mm -hmm. So you're going to stir that in. And again, what that was going to happen is the cheese is going to melt. Mm -hmm. Okay. It's going to create a little oh. nice, uh, you know, delicacy in the pot. And look at what you've done here. Yeah. This is so beautiful. And that is a one pot. Uh, beef and mushroom meal. There it is. We add salt and oh, pepper. Or are we good to we go? We can if okay. you want to add salt and pepper. Okay. At this well, point, right you now, would season but, it. Okay. And then we would just top it with some grated uh, garnish uh, parsley. Parsley. Yep. Beautiful. All yep. right. Just chopped parsley. Thank you very much. Okay. There we go. Number one. So next up, tortellini yes. with mushrooms medley sauce. Do I have yes. that right? Mushroom medley sauce. Mushroom yes. medley sauce. Yes. Perfect. Uh, don't go anywhere. Uh, we'll be right back. Great taste of Manitoba. You're watching Great Tastes of Manitoba, brought to you in part by GreatTastesMB.ca. Local farms, local foods.